For 15 years, teachers waited for the government to honor the 1997 agreement fully, but this far it has failed. It only honored part of the agreement, which was the increment of salaries, but has kept the part about allowances pending. The Kenya National Union of Teachers says it would cost the government about 30 billion shillings to commence payment of allowances for the 278,000 teachers currently employed. That, however, is not inclusive of the arrears. The union claims the government owes teachers money going into the region of 450 billion shillings as arrears accrued since the signing of the deal in 1997. Enough is enough. 3rd of September. 2012, the classrooms in Kenya, all classrooms, will be empty of teachers. That, however, according to the finance minister, is a threat coming a little too late because the deal between teachers and the government in 1997 ceased to exist when the current constitution was inaugurated. Uh, the constitution is prim. It is for since all the other... All the other agreements that may have been. Gedaya's statement contradicts that of Planning Minister Wickley for Paranya, while announcing a pay hike for civil servants which took effect last month. The, the new constitution uh, created the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, Salaries and Remuneration Commission, which is now the body empowered uh, to approve in, 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 in increase. So Sion, however, is of the view that the Salaries and Remuneration Commission can only advise the Teacher Service Commission, TSC, which employs teachers. And therefore, the union will only continue engaging the TSC. For now, though, the union is not interested in anything but... Implementation and implementation alone. So we are not going to negotiate with anybody. According to the agreement, in addition to their salaries, teachers were meant to receive hardship allowance amounting to 30% of minimum basic salary, medical allowance amounting to 20% of minimum basic salary, as well as 10% commuter allowance. Special education teachers would also receive an additional 10% of their minimum basic salary. Until this reflects on their pay slips, teachers vow to continue with their planned strike. The union hereby serves the Teachers Service Commission with a seven-day notice. Meanwhile, some 52,000 retired teachers are still waiting for Treasury to release the 33 billion shillings awarded to them by the Nakuru High Court last year, still in accordance with the 1997 agreement. The government had contested the ruling but lost the appeal, but to date, it has not honored the court's verdict. Sylvia Chabit, Citizen Live at Nine.